Good morning, friends. This is Angelica. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be doing a different sort of video. I am going to be introducing the new Recollective Holiday Collection from The Greedery. This is their beautiful Christmas release. It's huge. And uh, I just wanted to walk you through all of the products in this release so you can see them up close. We have been doing product reveals the last three days, we being the design team and Betsy. And uh, I will leave links to my blog down in the description. And in my blog, you're gonna find links to all of the other blogs. So there is tons of inspiration to go look at. But let's jump into looking at these products. And I'm gonna be going um, in order as they were shown in for the past three days. So we're gonna start with Wrapped in Love. This stamp set has a wrapping paper and then lots of sentiments that you can mix and match. There's larger words that do have a um, die set to go with these words. This is sold separately. And then there um, is also the Wrapped in Love die set and these are all the accessories that you would need when you're wrapping paper so absolutely darling set now this um these are rolls the the wrapping paper rolls like i if i if i was making one i didn't stamp any of rolls out but if i was making one i would stamp this on um, pink cardstock and red ink to make a really pretty pink and a red striped wrapping paper roll this is what it looks like so the um, the wrapping papers would be stamped on this smaller die, and then you have the inside of the of the wrapping paper um, to stamp on. Now Betsy has a lot of different ideas on how to use this wrapping paper uh, stamp and die set. I made a card just using the accessories. So you have scissors, tape, um, presents. And then for the sentiment, I actually used three different stamps from this set. So I used the uh, die to die cut wrapping and then picked two sentiments that match it. All of these sentiments you can mix and match and make beautiful um, sentiments for your cards. There is also a uh, additional sentiment um, or sentiment add-on stamp set too. And this is perfect for tags. So you have um, a couple different from, to and from. There's um, in a regular font, font and then in a cursive font. I think this cursive font is so beautiful. This wrapped uh, stamp does coordinate with this um, die. And I did make a tag. Let me find that tag real quick. This is the tag that I made. So I added two presents from the Wrapped in Love die and then picked Wrapped Up For You. Uh, this is the crimped tag that I inked in Ground Espresso uh, to put the sentiment on. I just, I love the rustic look to this tag. So that is Wrapped in Love. This is the Winterland Layers stamp set. This is a really clever stamp set. I have not seen um, this done before. There might be other stamps like this, but what Betsy has done is she's given us four branches. Two of them are just one layer, and then there's two with a couple layers to them um, to add the berries. Now, the dies, if you die cut them first, you can layer um, two of the stamps together. So you have this branch on um, this die cut, this branch, and then I stamped this branch on top of it. So I made sure to stamp that with a lighter ink um, and then stamped the branch and in black, added the berries. And then the second layer, the second layered die cut is this branch with the longer stem. You have the berries to stamp on the layered stamps. And then you also have kind of like paint splatter stamps if you wanted to add snow, or I would use these on other cards too to make a paint splatter if I didn't want to get out my paint or my inks. The dies are sold separately. And there are a couple words in the stamp set, Merry Wishes and Noel. 
I do have a card that I made. I made a flat card. I did not use the die cuts. Um, I stamped the branches re with really light ink. Um, I used the Stamp Market No Line ink just to have that really faded look. Added three branches and then I stamped um, a sentiment from Comfort and Joy stamp set. The Comfort and Joy stamp set comes with larger stamps that have a coordinating die set that will cut out those sentiments. And then you have smaller stamps to um, make different sentiments. So this is a mix and match sentiment stamp set. And what I love about this is, yes, you can use it in the holidays, but it's also um, really nice if you need to make a sympathy card, um, thinking of you card, just more of, um, you can use this for encouragement cards. And I did stamp out the words and die cut them so you can see what the die cut sentiments look like. And I used this stamp set for the sentiment on this card. I used three stamps. So sending wishes for is one stamp. At Christmas time is one stamp. And then the hope, peace, prayers. I used the coordinating die, which is sold separately, to die cut the hope, peace, prayers um, sentiment. And then I just attached that to the card base. So there was a little dimension with thin foam squares. The Big Beautiful Bow is probably, on my blog, the most popular item um, in the release. I have gotten so many compliments from this bow. Um, this is a seven-piece bow. I die-cut white cardstock with the die, and I colored them with Distress Oxide inks before I attached the bows together. I have the blue one and a green one here. There is a strip um, if you wanted to put some ribbon on your card front and then a tag. And let me show you how I used this bow. Here's the card that I made. I did a brown bow. Um, I wanted it to look a little like leather. Used uh, brown Distress Oxide inks. Added a Comfort and Joy um, sentiment and then the ribbon strips. And then under the ribbon, I put two new Botanicut die cuts. These are the new Botanicut dies. This is the juniper die. You have berries and then branches. I did ink them with oxide inks and then glued the branches together, added the berries, kind of tucked the berries under, underneath the branches. And I did add a little bit of um, rock candy clear glitter just to give it some sparkle. And the Rowan Branch die is this one. And there, there, there are smaller pieces that you can glue on top of the berries. Um, so it looks like snow. I think that's really clever. And again, that's what I used under the bow here. And I did snip both of them apart just to give it a more fuller look. This is Plaid Tidings Very Merry stamp set. So Very Merry is one large stamp. And then you have um, sentiments that you can put on top of the So Very Merry and below. So it's beginning to look so very merry and bright. Um, let's get so very merry and bright. You also have layered holly. There is a separate stencil set, so you can stencil out so very merry and get this really cute plaid look to it. The last stencil will add the drop shadow. And then the die set there are letters, so you can die cut So Very Merry, and then there is a base to um, add the letters to. You can also use the base to die cut um, the stenciled word or the stamp, and there is a guide on each stencil that matches this die cut. So if you wanted to die cut first and stencil, Betsy has made that really easy for you. 
And let's look at a couple cards I made with this, um, all of these products. And these are all sold separately. So I did use the, um, the stamp, So Very Merry, on this card. And then I used the Drop Shadow um, stencil to add the um, pink shadow behind the red word. Just like that. And then I added a card, which I'll show you that card in just a minute. Um, and then here I use the drop shadow stencil behind the die cut words. And I die, um, I tucked in a couple stamped or a few stamped holly under the sentiment. And I didn't add the other sentiments. I thought this looked just fine without the um, top sentiment or bottom on it. Here's a slimline card that I made. Um, I used popcorn garland to decorate it. And I did use... Um, the other stamps to finish the sentiment. Tis the, se tis the season to be so very merry and bright. And then here is the plaid, so very merry. Tis the season to be, or tis, yeah, to be so very merry and bright. And I just put that on an inked um, background where I splattered some white, uh, white paint on top to make it look snowy. Now we're going to look at the popcorn garland die set. This is what the um, garland looks like when you die cut it. And there's also little circles. Um, there's spots in on the die cut for you to put those circles. Uh, and then there's little pieces of popcorn that you can layer on top of the garland just to give it some dimension. I have some already made. Now, instead of using the red dots, I used red dots from this new Mint and Berry Bits. It has candy pieces in it, peppermint and spearmint, and then these really cute dome um, bits. And they have a nice velvet look to them. They're super matte and absolutely adorable. And I just thought they looked great on the garland. So now we're going to look at the Bright and Bubbly stamp set, Bright and Bubbly die, and then the Sentiment dies. The Sentiment dies die cut the um, larger sentiments, and this is what they look like die cut. And then you do have um, the stamp with the wire and the bubbles if you wanted to make a one layer card and just use the stamps to decorate. I did not use the stamp because I do have a mistake on my stamp set. Your stamp set will not have that mistake. But I did use the dies and then the layered stamps to decorate the die cuts. I have an example here. I love the candles with the little bubbles in the candles. Now, the card that I made with this die set... Um, I used the glow stamps from the stamp set to put a glow behind the candles. And then um, I used the die to die cut Merry Christmas and used one of the um, sentiment strips to add wishing you a berry. There's also hoping your holiday is merry and bright or bright and bubbly. Absolutely adorable. The Christmas sampler stencil set is a six piece stencil set super easy to use um, this is the scene that it will stencil and this just took me a couple minutes to put together uh, i picked red and green inks um, distress oxide inks to make this scene and then there is the christmas sampler sentiments stamp set so you can stamp or die cut a sentiment to put um, on your panel the dies are sold separately. Um, I do have a couple cards where I added the sentiments. I die cut the sentiments and added them um, with thin foam squares for a little dimension. And I splattered the panels with white paint for that snowy Christmas look. The second stencil set in this release 
is a five piece stencil set. This is um, Fair Isle stencils. This is the background that it makes. And I used this stencil set to um, make a background for this card. I used lighter inks, so I had that kind of vintage Christmas feel to it. Um, got my pink in there. I just love sneaking pink into my cards. That's my favorite color. But I just, um, I love this background. So cute. And you can just um, use different colors to um, brighten it or bring the background down a bit like I did here. I have a video coming out tomorrow where I am um, using this stencil set. This is the Cheermobile stamp set. You have your little Cheermobile, um, which, and it comes with a whole bunch of accessories. You have the wheels, you have a hatch top that you can open up and have presents coming out of the car. There's a tree to put on top of the car. And then there are um, an arrangement um, of sentiments and I have them stamped out here. I did use the coordinating sentiment die to die cut the words so you can see what they look like die cut and the car the cards what i used on this car um, card um, inked it with red ink added the tree and there is a window reflection stamp right here which is what i used to put the little reflection <laughs> on the windows i think that's so clever and the last thing to look at is the holiday hatchback. This is a treat box. Um, when you die cut your cardstock, this is what it's going to look like when you die cut it with this die. There are score lines for you to fold the paper when you, it's time to um, assemble the card. Now, before I assembled my cards, I did make sure to um, attach the accessory die cuts first to decorate the car that is way easier than putting the car together and then trying to add the windows and tires and whatnot so this is what I do have some already um, ready to go or when it comes time and I need more cars there are tabs um, that I added 1 8 inch adhesive to I did try to put a card together with glue that did not work well. So I do recommend using the 1 8 inch score tape. There are accessory dies that you can use to decorate the cards with, which is what I used. Um, I used this accessory die to add the um, panels on the side of the car. And on the back bumper, I put the brake and the um, license plate on top of that accessory die. And then there is a topper you can put on top of the car, which is what I did with this car. This is what it looks like when it's completely assembled. I stamped special delivery. There are three small stamps in the Cheermobile stamp set. There's Cheermobile, Ho Ho Ho, and Special Delivery, teeny stamps, and they fit perfectly on this little topper. Now, like I said, this is a treat box. So the trunk opens up and that is where you would put your treats. And it holds quite a bit. There is a lot of room in there. When you're assembling the car, the bottom is a separate die cut. So there is a small tab on the end that you'd fold over and this fits under the grill. So you would put that under the grill, the small tab, fold it over. And I, I assembled this one wrong, but since I have this open, I wanted to show it to you. This part will go under these tabs. So like I have it here, I have those small tabs attached to the bottom um, so it stays attached to the car.
here is a car that is just the um, hatchback die set. It has the windows, the bumper, but it does not have the um, wood panel. Okay, so I showed the accessory dies, and then there are toppers for the cars. Um, there is a tree, luggage. I have not used the luggage die yet. Um, you will find examples of the luggage die over on Betsy's blog. And then there are skis. So I put skis on top of this car. So cute. And then here is the tree. I die cut the tree three times, folded the trees, and then glued them together so it's a little dimensional. And it sits right on top of the car. There is a trunk. I didn't um, attach the trunk to the tree. I <laughs> forgot. But there is a trunk for the tree. So that finishes the um, closer look to the Recollective collection. And again, that's going to be in the greetery shop tomorrow morning. I will have links to all of the products I showed down in the description. Those links will go live 10 a.m. October 6th. They are affiliate links just to let you know that that's at no cost to you. It just gives me a small commission and that really helps out my channel. So like I said before, I will have another video coming out tomorrow um, showcasing a few products from the release and um, that's all that I have for today. So I will see you tomorrow in that video. Take care friends.